everyone. We are going to do another set of nails and this one is going to be another kind of St. Patty's Day. Um, yeah, but it turned out so cute with this um, Beatles 219 and 307 and then 622 and what was the green? Um, 611. That's right. And it's all Beatles products that I'm using on this set. Super simple. Um, a couple of other products too. And I will list them down below in the description um, in case you want to pick up any of them along with um, a discount code that I have. And that's all in the description. So I always start out with a pinky and um, yeah, this one is no different. And so we're going to start out with the pinky and we're going to use this very, very soft lavender. And that's basically just the base because um, I'm going to make this pinky super sparkly with the glittery purple. And that just kind of sets the tone for um, this set because, yeah, this purple is pretty much throughout all of the nails and I just love the way it turned out. I ended up doing two different coats um, and curing it for 60 seconds in between and then of course I cured the um, the base coat as well. So yeah, I love how beautiful it looked when it got a little bit darker. So now we're going to work on the ring finger and this one I decided to ombre. Um, and I haven't ombre in a couple of videos. So, um, you know, I'm kind of addicted to <laughs> ombre anyway, because, you know, it's just such a fun, um, look, you don't even really have to put any nail art on a nail that's ombre, like it is its own art style. So yeah, um, of course I did end up putting some art on top of the ombre, but, um, only because I got this new stamp set in, um, by clear jelly stamp, um, stampers. And I have a link to that too, if you are interested in picking up some stamp um, sets. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I just love their stampers. Their stamping plates always work for me. And yeah, it just, yeah. So I ombre it and then I pulled out my new stamper and just you wait until you see it. It's so cute. But um, yeah, so when you ombre, um, or when I ombre, I always do two coats and that way it's not transparent in the middle. Um, if you only do one coat, then you can kind of see through the middle because you're making it so um, thin, I guess, when you're brushing them um, or when I'm brushing them, I make it really, really thin. So that's why I always do two coats. But um, and I like to put my polish on thin so that when I cure it, it cures thoroughly. And I cure in an LED light um, for 60 seconds in between all of my coats. So um, that's pretty much the only time I'm going to say that. But yeah, so now I broke out that same purple glitter and um, I just decided to do like a little shamrock. I've been doing this in the last couple of videos and I'm just kind of addicted to it. It's because I'm such a hearts lover and um, it's just, you know, three hearts that are like side by side and it ends up looking like a shamrock. You could probably even put these hearts closer together, but you know, this is, I'm kind of new to the, you know, shamrock made out of hearts type of thing and I'm always afraid they're going to like bleed into each other so I try not to get them too close but you can definitely get them closer if you um you know have a steadier hand than me <laughs> anyway so I am um doing the stem now and um I'm leaving all of this um, little art, little hand done art at the top because I want to stamp. Okay, so this is the new little clear, um, clear jelly stamp set for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And it's got all sorts of fun little sayings and, um, you know, leprechauns and bow ties and 
um, boots and socks. It's just so, so cute. I actually ended up ordering another stamping set along with this, and so you will be able to see that stamping set in the coming um, videos. So subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll be able to see those coming videos. So um, I laid it down with the stamper, and then I kind of like attach the edges of a couple of the letters but it says um, I pinch back <laughs> that's so cute isn't it I love it so much so yeah um, nobody's going to be pinching me if I'm wearing green nails right so anyways no no worries about anybody getting pinched I guess um, I was actually worried I top coated with a shiny top coat on um, all of these nails I don't think I showed each nail being top coated but um, yeah I did do the shiny top coat on all of them you could just as easily do a matte top coat I know a lot of people love to matte their ombres so yeah do a matte top coat and Beatles has another um, top coat um, that is matte also so yeah check it out if you are in need of them so um, or that certain product okay so now we're going to do the middle nail and um yeah loving this super light lavender color it's just so soft and easy to work with really and um so i'm going to put a little dot of um the glitter on actually i used this last time right so um and i'm just kind of going to make like a border around this nail with the the glitter um polish so i call it glitter it's more like a sparkle it doesn't have it doesn't actually have like bumpy glitter in it it's just sparkly once it's on and um yeah so i'm doing this freehand and yeah it ends up me having to go over it again and again and again um but that's because it's fairly thin and so that way you can build if you want to but you don't have to um i love thinner um uh, polish and that's the reason why is that sometimes you don't want like a thick blob of um, color and although the pigment is always a little you know richer a little deeper on the thicker polishes um, these are ideal for people like me who like to build product um, because this nail and actually this set um, I do um, really like the darkness of it, but I just love that, you know, you get a little variety. If I wanted it to be just a little lighter, I could do that too, if, because it's not so extremely pig pigmented. You get what I mean, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know down below. I always ask a question in my videos if this is your first one watching. Welcome and definitely subscribe to watch more. But um, I always ask a question in my videos or two or three. And the question of the day is, do you prefer high pigments or are you a builder like I am? Do you prefer to build? So let me know what type of polishes you go for. And um, yeah, um, we are building this community and I just love, love, love that, you know, you can comment and everybody else sees, you know, and maybe, you know, you'll like bring them out of their shell and they'll be like, oh, somebody else likes builders or somebody else likes high pigments, you know. And so, yeah, I just love that the community can all like comment together and, you know talk, chat, um, give tips if you want to. Okay, so this is the middle nail, and once again, and at this point, I'm thinking Mardi Gras beads, which is always, you know, around now, around St. Patty's Day, right? Uh, we actually just went tonight, we went to um, a Mardi Gras event at our local park, 
and they had like hot air balloons and you know food trucks and a band we live in a very small town and so it's always fun to do that and as a family we always ride our bikes to the park because it really is just like maybe four blocks down the road and we could walk it's that close to us so um we rode our bikes and yeah it was a lot of fun but okay so i <laughs> started out with um the mardi gras beads on a purple string with white beads and then i was like okay i have to keep the consistency but i'm going to do um, different beads each time right so this one is a long strand of beads and so I'm doing little white beads on it <laughs> it's so cute this is what I love about being able to be creative right is that there's no rules you just do whatever you want to do and this is what I was feeling at the moment and I really just wanted to add all of the colors that were in the nails and keep it consistent in that way and keep it fun and so yeah I added the purple as the lines as the string of the beads and then I added the green and the white so yeah it ended up being so cute I will show you the end result of all five nails side by side at the end of this video so stay tuned for that meanwhile we are now on to the pointer finger and so I use that stark white which is um Beatles 219 and I have a big bottle of this one because I use it all the time white and black definitely all the time um yeah so I get the big bottles for that <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so, and the coverage on this is so good. This white is just all pigment. It's all pigment. So yeah, stark white is white as it gets. So I cured it for 60 seconds and now I'm going to go in and, um, I actually haven't done patchwork in a long time. So, um, on, on my nails anyway. And so um, I decided to do a little bit of kind of like a patchy look, um, but also a little different this time. Usually I put like the stitched kind of like the quilted patches. Um, and this time I decided against that. Um, I just ended up you know, I was watching, what was I watching while I was making this? I was watching Manifest on Netflix. <laughs> um, if anybody has seen that show, it's, it's like in its fourth season at this point, I think. And I first started watching it when it was a pilot. And um, then I stopped watching it. And um, all of a sudden, um, I popped into it and I was watching it and while I was making these little patches and so yeah does anybody else watch manifest or have you watched it yeah it's so so good anyways <laughs> so I started out with the green patches and I just kind of made little squares and I'm actually using my old um OPI when OPI came or when gel polish first came out, OPI was one of the first good ones that that actually came out with like different colors and all that. So what I'm using to make these patchy squares is my old um, gel liner brush or not liner brush, but my old gel brush. This was literally the very first gel brush I ever owned yeah and it was right when gel first came out like many many years ago and I remember when it first came out and I thought to myself oh this is going to change the whole game when it comes to nails and it sure did so I went and got certified straight off um, through OPI and that was when I was um, in in the salon you know, I had like my own little mini salon, my little uh, mini salon suite, right? And um, yeah, I was like, I remember telling my clients, um, I definitely cured in between these colors. I did not 
just go it doesn't look like it because my hand placement is pretty much right on when I came back but yeah I cured in between and now I'm drawing the lines around it just to make it look patchy but um yeah I remember telling my clients when I got back from that class um, I was like oh do I have something for you and mind you this is when everybody was still doing pink and white acrylic if you remember that um, you know give me some hearts or a thumbs up or you know let me know in the comments that you remember and you also did um, nothing but the French the pink and white acrylic because that's pretty much what the standard um, was back then or you know colored acrylic I was actually back then I was a custom colored acrylic specialist so I would mix people's colors for them and you know match like their prom dresses or you know I had some clients that came in and you know just every time they came in they wanted a different custom color that nobody else could get so I would mix their um, acrylic for them but yeah so when gel first came out um, and I started taking the classes and learning about it um, I came back and I was like this is going to change everything and then of course I started talking everybody into gels and it took a while um yeah a lot of people were very resistant against wanting to use gel they were like no I need the strength of acrylic and you know it turns out some people still need the strength of acrylic and there is that you know I'm glad that it's still there for people who need that strength but um yeah I pretty much changed um almost all of my clients from their pink and white acrylics to gel and using that one OPI gel brush yeah so that is what made the transition for everybody but anyways um I always tell these funny little stories I hope I hope you thank you for putting up with me <laughs> my little nostalgic oh way back when stories but anyway so um, now I'm just adding um, the shamrocks to each little kind of blank area and um, oh my gosh I think that one turned out so cute too alrighty so now we are on to the thumb and the thumb I did something that I don't do a whole bunch um, but I do have the blooming gel so I ended up using that lavender as the base of course and then I cured it for 60 seconds and then I came in with blooming gel and beetles blooming gel is so good um, it has a floating effect that is you know better than than anything I think so I am definitely partial to these beetle colors I or not the colors but the polishes um, the gel polish because it it just pretty much nails it every single time so first you put on the blooming gel and don't mind my nails by the way <laughs> I haven't repolished my nails in um, I think oh almost two weeks so they are like crumbled and horrible and yeah I pick at them and you can see that they're growing oh no 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 it wasn't even two weeks it was it was about a week because um, they're starting to grow out and I remember I was picking and, I, and when I picked my first one I was like okay it's only been five days <laughs> but now they're just a wreck so yeah forgive me anyway so what you do with the blooming gel is you don't cure the blooming gel you just put a, a nice layer on that covers everything and then you take your colors and you just kind of swirl them and the blooming gel helps the uh, it levels kind of while you're adding you know more and more color and it just kind of like levels it out and makes it bloom a little bit um, this is how a lot of people get the rose effect but today I wanted to do kind of more of a marbling um, but also I wanted to do you know consistent with those um, patchy squares I wanted to make it look kind of squarey so I just took the end of my ball point um, pointer and I just pulled all of those colors 
in kind of a, a square. Um, then I cured it and now I'm putting on that shiny top coat. So anyways, I love the way this turned out. Anyways, it was, um, it kind of like took apart the different colors, which is weird and kind of swirled them all together at the same time. And it's a very light, um, you know, very muted look, but yeah, this is how all five of them came out. I love the way they came out. My Mardi Gras beads are in the center and I've got definitely got the, um, shamrocks in there and you know the saint patty's day look so i hope you enjoy watching this video give me a thumbs up comment share and definitely subscribe if you haven't already so you can see the rest of my videos that i upload you can also go back and look at the many videos that i have of other colors and other sets so i do hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here and i will see you next time